In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a goal in your Clicky account so that you're able to monitor when you have a, a, a goal that is achieved. For example, having somebody that becomes a, a lead through your IDX account. So all you have to do is once you've set up your Clicky account, um, go down to your website and go ahead and open the dashboard. Head over here in the menu bar and click Goals. And then, I've already got mine set up, so we're going to set yours up now. And all you have to do is go to Setup, Create a New Goal, then you're going to name it. So maybe I want to call this one IDX Lead. And then the goal URL is going to be um, generally the thank you page after somebody registers. So if your goal is just that you want to get somebody to go from one page to another page, then you're going to put in whatever that URL is. You can have multiple goals. But if you want to register how many actually become a lead so that you can kind of measure your uh, visitor to lead conversion, let's just say, what you're going to want to put in that goal URL is a uh, is your thank you page for your that appears on your IDX registration. Okay. If you're using listings to leads or another landing page, you're going to do the same thing. It's the thank you page that appears after they register that you want to put into this goal URL box. Okay. So typically your IDX thank you page is going to look something like, let's see if I have it pasted there. Something like this, okay? Um, in my case, my IDX broker domain is homes.ballonvegas.com. So my main domain is ballonvegas.com. And then homes. is the actual IDX um, domain. And then IDX slash thank you is my thank you page. So you have to be able to access your thank you page on... Um, on whatever it is that appears after somebody registers to measure this correctly, okay? Now here you can choose an icon. Then if you want to, you can assign um, revenue and cost and determine whether or not that, that goal has a certain value and whether or not you want to count it more than once. Um, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Have them? You're not going to want them to register multiple times. And um, I don't use any of those right now, so I just keep these pretty simple. And then once you have that registered, you can go down and click submit. Now let me just put that this is a test so that I know to delete it afterwards. Okay, so I've already got that one in there, so it's telling me I've already got it in there. Now, once you set up a goal, you can actually go over here to Alerts, and you can click Create a New Alert, and then you can say New Lead, and then you can say Email Me when there's a new lead, and it, it, you just get a little uh, email from Clicky that says the goal was achieved. Um, you can get a push notification, a sound. It can play like a woohoo or fanfare kind of thing or bells or anything like that. That is kind of fun when you're monitoring this. An on-site HTML pop-up, which will just pop up in the corner there of the screen, um, or a webhook. So these alerts just make it kind of fun and informative. And um, you know what we focus on expands, so it's cool to have that focus. Then what you're able to do, once you set this up, you can go back over to goals and you can measure conversion rate for a certain time period. And so you can see here, if I were to go back, let's go back 60 days, it'll say out of everybody that became, that became a lead, IDX lead, um, the, it, it converts at 79, 0.79%. So that's, let's just average that up to 1%. So this is measuring the entire website, not just IDX pages. You're going to find your IDX typically is going to capture at a 3% to 10% rate, depending on how you have your force registration set up and where it's set up. Okay. 
Um, if you don't know, I would say guess at 5%, uh, 5% of people that visit your actual IDX domain become a lead. <clears throat> IDX broker is normally like a seven or eight. I've seen some that are as high as 10. And, but this isn't, this isn't including the entire website. So this is the blogs and the hyper local stuff and everything. So what's cool about that is it gives me a new goal. If I go, okay, my website as for as a general rule converts at about 1% overall, that means if I want to get 10 leads today, I need a thousand visitors today. Kind of easy math, right? And if I want to increase that, then my goal needs to be how do I put better call to action? How do I give more offers that'll get more people to register for IDX? Or should I be more aggressive about my registration? There's lots of things I can play with because if I if I get that to 2% conversion on the entire website, now I only need 500 leads to get to 500 visitors to get to those same 10 leads. So that's just kind of a, um, a cool thing here where you can start monitoring um, some of the goals that occur on your website. But keep in mind, when you're doing it this generically, you're just measuring the entire website. Not the best way to measure an on-page conversion. If I, if I really want to measure how well does my IDX capture, then I want to only measure conversion on the IDX domain. But this is kind of a, a good way to get started, and it's, kind of a, it's also a fun way to um, just keep an eye on um, when your visitors become a lead.